How's it going guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how to kill Agaroth during and after the quest The Shadow Over Ashdale. You might be wondering why is it a good idea to complete this quest and kill this boss weekly, because you can fight this boss twice per week. And the reason for that is you will obtain 3 black pearls upon completion of this quest, and these act as large prismatic stars and scale to your level. And yes, they are available to Iron Man accounts, which is why it's so important to get this quest done out of the way as soon as you can, so you can get yourself some juicy bonus experience loot. The thing to keep in mind is that for the quest rewards you will receive 3 black pearls which as I said act as large prismatic stars, but you can only use these once per day. However, you should be able to refight the boss again right after the quest in order to receive 1 black pearl and this will act as a medium prismatic star and you can actually fight the boss twice per week as I said and receive 2 of these pearls and the nice thing about these ones is you can actually use them both during the same day. So after completion of the quest you should have access to 5 black pearls, these being 3 large and 2 medium. And every week after that you can come back to the Ashdale Caves and fight Agaroth again for more medium black pearls. So now that we know just why we want to fight Agaroth, let's learn how to fight him and using the best techniques so not to waste any combat supplies. The fight does scale to your level so you shouldn't have anything to worry about if you are a lower level, but just remember to use the best equipment you own and you should be fine. I would recommend using magic or ranged, that way you won't have to do much running around, because Agaroth's tentacles will attack and stun you so it's best to stay out of their way. But anyways, to start the fight, head over to the Ashdale Caves and click on the chest to initiate the battle with Agaroth. Once you're in, the first thing you want to do is click on the first tentacle you see to initiate an auto attack. Then immediately after you do your first auto attack, you want to use a damage over time ability. Since these tentacles can only be damaged for 40 life points each hit, the idea is to be able to hit them as fast as possible. So after you use your bleed attack, you'd want to just keep using your regular attacks and the tentacles should be dead very shortly. You will notice it start to move around and when you see it doing this it's getting ready to attack and stun you so one thing you can do to prevent this is using the anticipation ability and this will prevent you from being stunned but you can also just move out of the way and not take any damage. Once the first tentacle is down you'll want to move into the vicinity of where it was that way you won't have to worry about the other tentacles attacking you and stunning you because you will be outside of their attack range. Finish off the other tentacles like you did the first one and then a cutscene will appear and you will now have to fight Agaroth himself. As soon as the cutscene is over you will see Agaroth spew water out of his mouth and he'll do a sweeping action from either left to the center of the screen or right to the center of the screen. And the idea is to move one square forward so you're out of the range of the tentacles that can spawn and one square to the left or right depending on which way Agaroth is spitting the water. For example if Agaroth is sweeping from left to center you will want to take one step right to avoid this attack. If you don't avoid this attack, it will hit you for a hefty amount of damage, plus knocking you back and within range of his tentacles. Another one of Agaroth's attack that you will want to watch out for is when he shields himself from attacks, and you will see shadows appearing on the ground around you. What you want to do at this point is simply avoid the shadows, so move to an area without any shadows, and you should avoid his attack. Afterwards, you can continue the fight like normal, and the battle should be over very shortly. After the battle is over, you will need to click on the chest in order to claim your Black Pearl and fight Agaroth again. As I said, this can be done twice per week, resetting on Wednesday morning alongside other weekly DNDs. So make sure to get this quest done if you haven't already and enjoy your free weekly bonus experience. But anyways, that's it for today. I will say sorry that I haven't uploaded in a while, but the usual upload speed will resume shortly. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope you learned something valuable out of this guide. And I'll see you all next time with another Iron Man Progress video. So until then, take care everyone. The thing to keep in mind is that for the quest rewards you will receive 3 black pearls, 